Hello guys, good evening. Uh, I'm sorry for this delay. Uh, I, I mean, I was just finishing another class. So sorry for that delay. Thank you so much for always being on time and being there, being so responsible. As I have been always telling you, I do appreciate that because it shows part of your responsibility. So now guys, uh, I would like to know if you can hear me clearly. I mean, I, I'm always going to ask you these questions because I need to know that you are understanding what I'm, what I'm saying. So I don't know, can you hear me clearly? Clear. Clear, perfect. So let's see, uh, as usual, I'm going to ask you questions regarding to the previous, uh, the previous topic. So what do you guys remember about yesterday's class? Yesterday we saw uh, the questions in simple present, right? So how do I make questions in simple present? How do I do that? Do I use auxiliaries? Which auxiliaries do I use? Do you remember that? Do and does. Do and does, okay. Do and does, that's good. What else do you remember? How do I make a question? Can someone tell me? The first, the do and does. Mm -hmm. Okay. And subject. Subject, okay. And verb. Then the verb. And complement. And complement, okay. That's good. Example, let me see. If I ask you a question like, let me see. Let me try to find a question for you. If I ask you the question, let me see what, is that question correct? Incorrect. Is incorrect? Why it is incorrect? And so because when you uh, do, does, uh -huh. not use um, the verb final S. We, we don't, we don't, we don't add a, a letter S. Is that what you mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Yes, in that case, guys, when we are making questions in simple present, we never ever uh, modify the verb. We never do that, okay? So that's the reason why I cannot say it's. How am I going to say then? What's the right question? ¿Cuál es la respuesta o la pregunta correcta to that? What, what is it? Oh, we have Julia there that says, does she eat pupusas? Yeah, correct. Now, let me see. Can you guys give me a negative answer? A negative answer to this question. Let me see. To that question. Negative answer. Can you guys give me a negative answer to that? Hey, Julia, thank you very much. Rosa Melida, thank you. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, so what is the difference or how 
how do I identify, como identifico una respuesta corta de una larga? How do I pronounce, como pronuncio las dos formas negativas? How do I do that? Uh, let me see, Saul Gutierrez. How do I say that? How do I pronounce that? The two negative forms of the auxiliaries. How do I pronounce that? Podría repetirlo primero, por favor. Yes. What is the pronunciation of the two negative forms of the auxiliaries. How do I pronounce that? Pronunciation. The not, that's not. Does not. Can I use contractions, guys? Can I contract the negative and use contractions? Can I use it? Yes. Yes. So how is the contracted form? How do I contract that? What's the negative, the contracted form? No, I don't. Don't. Don't or doesn't. Don't. Doesn't. Doesn't. Um. Yesterday, you're supposed to do some exercises, which I only receive few of you. The other ones, I never received your screenshot on the WhatsApp group. So I don't know if you worked on the exercises or you didn't. So what happened with you guys? I just received like four or five people sent the exercises through the WhatsApp group but the other ones didn't. So that's the first thing that we are going to do today. We are going to go to that ex exercise specifically, and I will start asking questions. So let me see. I will request Jose Alberto for number one, Zulma for number two, uh, Sofia Stephanie for number three, Julia Yesenia number four, uh, Saul Gutierrez, number five. Rina Margarita, six. Carla, number seven. Eh, Jose Lopez, number eight. Let me see. Jocelyn Elizabeth, number nine. And Marvin Marroquín, number ten. Okay. So let's see how you do that. These are not the exercises. Estos no son los ejercicios que ustedes iban a trabajar. Estos son otros. What are you going to do with that? Utilizar el verbo que está entre paréntesis, between parentheses, plus, más, el pronombre o la persona que está ahí. How would you do that? ¿Cómo lo harían? Let's see how you do it. So let's go with number one. Do you walk to school? Repeat it again. Do you walk to a school? Do you walk to school? Excellent. That was very good. What about number two? Do you eat a banana in the morning? Do you eat? Why do you think that do you is the right answer? We're talking about Ronda. Estamos hablando de Ronda. Ronda <laughs> es el sujeto. So you cannot say do you. How would you change that? ¿Cómo lo cambiarías? How would you change that? Does anyone have any idea? Alguien más tiene alguna idea? How to say that? Does Ronda. Excellent. Does Ronda eat a banana in the morning? That's the way we have to do it. But thank you. Thank you very much for trying. 
So number three, who has number three? Um, yo. Um, sería, does your father like parrots? Does your father like parrots? Excellent, very good. What about number four? Number four, who has number four? Guys, do you always forget your numbers? Siempre se les olvidan sus números. Who is number four? Well, if number four is not there, so let me select two, Laura Angel. Go ahead, Laura. Hello, are you there? Well, looks like she's not there. So Griselda Angelica. In that case, we would say, does Wendy share a room with her sister? Okay, thank you very much for, for your participation. Who has number five? Number five. Does rain a lot in England? Does rain a lot in England? Thank you very much. Number six. Do, do you friends mm -hmm. for after school? Repeat it again, please. Do, do you sport after school? Do you sport after school? Is that correct, guys? The other ones, los demás, is that correct? She said, do you sport after school? Is it correct for you? No. Okay, in that case, in ese caso, porque tenemos the friends, los amigos. So we say, do the friends do sports after school? Let me tell you, el, el, el do puede ser utilizado tanto como auxiliar como verbo. Si se fijan en la número 6, yo lo estoy utilizando de las dos formas, tanto como auxiliar y como verbo. So let me write that down. Do the friends do. That's what we do. Do the friends do. So, la primera parte ahí está siendo utilizada as an auxiliary. Do. Y aquí está siendo utilizado como verbo. So I can use the same verb as an auxiliary and as a verb. So we have to be careful with that. Tenemos que tener cuidado con eso. Okay, so number seven. Who is number seven? Sorry, um, Susan, uh, uh, sorry. Um, do Susan and Jack to go camping in summer? To go, you sure that we say to go? Are go. You, we say like that? Only go. Only go, we just say, do Susan and Jack go camping in summer? Okay, we, we never use the two there, but thank you very much for that. Number eight. 
Does they to invite the friends to the party? Say that again, please. Does they to invite the friends to the party? Okay, listen to what he said. He said, does they? Pregunta para todos. Do we say, does they? Do. No. We no. say, do they, no. okay? Do they invite their friends to the party? Very good. Number nine. Who has number nine? Does we wait at the bus stop? Does we wait? Do we say does we? Do we say does we, guys? Do we? Do, do, do. we? Now, let me ask you. ¿Qué pronombres trabaja el auxiliar do? I. Solo con I. They. And we. I, you. It works with the pronouns I, you, you we, we, they. they. So, which are the pronouns that the auxiliary does use? Which pronouns? He, she, he, she, he, she he, and it. She, okay, he. that's it. Thank you very much. With that being said, is there any question so far? Alguna pregunta? Any doubt? Comment? Regret? No? No, clear. All right, so let's move on to today's topic. Today we are going to study vocabulary about daily routines. So it means things that you do every day, cosas que usted hace todos los días, rutina diaria, daily routine. So today we are going to work on vocabulary and also in pronunciation, okay? So let me see. First of all, I will need two volunteers, two. Okay, Jose Alberto and Sofia Stephanie. So Jose Alberto, I will ask you to help me reading this part, please. The first part, this one from here till here, till the period, hasta el punto. Then, Sofia, Stephanie, you will help me from here till the last period. Let's go. Routine is the usual series of things that, do, that you do at particular time. Thank you very much. It says a routine is the usual series of things that you do at a particular time. Very good, Sophia. A routine is also the, part the practice of regularly doing things in a fixed order. Excellent. A routine is also the practice of regularly doing things in a fixed order. Okay, as you can see there on the picture, on the image, we can see that someone is waking up, dressing up, exercising, going to school, watching TV, and so on and so on. Those are things that we do every day. Cosas que hacemos todos los días. All right, so let's see. Here we have a list. Aquí tenemos una lista de rutinas or things that we do every day. What we are going to do is listen to the pronunciation and then les voy a preguntar a todos that pronunciation. So listen to the pronunciation, okay? The first one, do the laundry. Si tienen su, su micrófono apagado y pueden es repetir la pronunciación, that will be fantastic. Pero eso es cada quien, okay? So listen. Do the laundry. Hang the clothes. Hang the clothes. Iron the clothes. Iron the clothes. Make the bed. Go to bed. Wake up, brush the teeth, 
brush the teeth, drive to work, get home, take a bath, brush your hair, surf the net, play with friends, okay? So let me see. Do you want me to repeat it again or do you think that you can make the pronunciation? Do I repeat it again? Lo repito de nuevo? Please. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, let's teacher. see. Do the laundry, hang the clothes, iron the clothes, make the bed, go to bed, wake up, brush the teeth, drive to work, get home, take a bath, brush your hair, surf the net, play with friends. Now, let me see, uh, Jose Alberto, I need you to help me reading the first two, las primeras dos, then Zulma, another two, Carla, another two, let me see, uh, Rina Margarita, another two, from here to here, then Jocelyn Elizabeth, from here to here, Sophia Stephanie, from here to here, and the last one, Iris Yvette, this one, just this one. Okay, let's go. Do the laundry, mm -hmm. hand the clothes. Thank you very much, Sulma. Iron the clothes, make the bed. Thank you very much, Carla. Go to the bed, wake up. Okay, the next one. Brush them down. No, Dry. brush the teeth. Teeth. Bro brush the teeth. Brush. Dry. Uh -huh. Dry to work. Excellent. Very good. The next one. Get home. Take a bath. Very good. The next one. Brush your hair. Surf the net. And the last one. Play, play with friends. Play with friends. Okay, very good. Now, from this list, de esta lista, hay algo que ustedes no entiendan. There, is there something that you do not understand? Surf the net. Surf the net, navegar por el internet. Surf the net. Make the bed. Make the bed. Hacer la cama. Brush the teeth. Brush the teeth. Is brush the teeth. Cuando usted se va a dormir, antes de dormirse, ¿qué hace? Brush the teeth. Cepillarse los dientes. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. is like uh, hacer la lavandería. Lavar. Do the laundry. Surf the net. Surf the net, navegar por el internet. Thank you. And then uh, the other ones are, are clear. Las demás están claras. Yes. Okay. Now. If there's no more questions, let's move on to part number two, parte numero dos. Listen to the pronunciation and try to repeat. Tra traten de repetir if you want, okay? That's not a requirement, only if you want. So listen. Go to school. Go shopping. Exercise. Wash the car. Get dressed. Go out with a friend. Take pictures. Play the guitar. Play the guitar. Water the plant. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Work. 
have breakfast, have lunch. Now, Saul Gutierrez, two, these two, then uh, Griselda Angelica, these two. Let me see who else. Rosa Melida, these two. Jose Lopez, these two. Monica Lue, these two. Then uh, Jocelyn Stephanie, these two. And the last one, Dennis Marcela, this one. Let's go. Go to school, mm -hmm. go shopping. Very good. Wash the car. No, this one right here. Exercise. Okay. Oh, excuse me, exercise. All right, the next one. Who is the next one? Hello. Get dresses. Get dressed. Get dressed. Mm -hmm. Go go out with a friend. Very good. Who is the next one? Take pictures. Mm -hmm. Play the guitar. Excellent. This one. Play the guitar. No, no, no. This one. Okay. Wait. The plant. Water. Water the plant. Water the plants. Go for a walk. A walk. Okay. Very good. Who is the next one? War have breakfast. Okay, very good. And the last one. The last one was for Denise Marcela. Are you there? Denise? Well, I think she's not there, okay? So I will say it. so have lunch. So something I need to tell you guys, very important in pronunciation, para la pronunciación de esta palabra o de este verbo, walk, nunca pronunciamos la letra L. No decimos walk, no decimos walk, decimos walk como W O K. The letter L, we never pronounce it. Never. Ok. Para la próxima vez, no quiero escuchar a nadie diciendo walk, ni walk, ni walk. Decimos walk. Walk. Ok. Be clear on that pronunciation. All right. Now, my question is, do you understand them all? All of them are understandable, or do you have any question? For me, it's clear. Clear. What about the others? Si entendemos todo lo que dice aquí, todo lo que está aquí is clear. Is that clear? Well, I will take the silence as a yes. So let's move on. And this part, we have more. We have have dinner, make dinner, fold the laundry, surf the net, which we saw already, feed the dog, take a taxi, wait for the boss, Paint the picture, have a break, take a break. The difference between these both, la diferencia entre estas dos es que en UK, con acento británico, ellos dicen, have a break. And in the United States, in Estados Unidos, they say, take a break. Okay? Very good. Now, let me see. Sophia Stephanie, help me reading three, las primeras tres. Now, let me see Sulma, another three, please. Siguiente tres. And the last one, Julia Yesenia, the last three, please. Go ahead. 
Okay, have dinner, make dinner, pull the laundry. Very good, thank you very much. Okay, sort the net, mm -hmm. feed the dog, mm -hmm. um, take a taxi. Take a taxi, very good. Julia. Wait for the bus, mm -hmm. find the picture, mm -hmm. have a break, take a break. Thank you very much. Now, is there any question? Do you understand it all or do you have any question? Teacher, feed the dog. Feed the dog, alimentar al perro. Thank you. Okay, the other ones are clear. La demás está en class. Fold the laundry. Fold the laundry. Doblar la ropa. Okay. Fold the laundry. Mm -hmm. well, wait for the bus. Wait for the bus. Esperar por el bus. O esperar el bus. Well, I think the other ones are, are easier, right? So we are going to move on to this part, okay? How do we pronounce that? Como pronunciamos esa palabra? Walk, walk. Walk, walk. walk. Excellent, very walk. good. Very good. So listen, walk the dog. Take out the rubbish. Sweep the floor. Rake the leaves. Read the news, clean the window, cut the grass, do the dishes, and paint the house. So, Jose Lopez, three, the first three, Carla, the following three. Oh, let me see. And Jose Alberto, the last three. Let's go. Walk the dog, take out the rubies, sweep the floor. Excellent. Carla? Ray the leaves. Leaves. Ray the leaves, read the news, clean the window. Okay, thank you very much. The next one. Cut the grass, do the dish, paint dishes, the fish dishes. Put, uh -huh. Sorry, paint the house. Paint the house. Okay. Now, is there any question or yes. clear? <laughs> um, to, um, break, break the leaves. Rake, rake the leaves es lo que usted hace cuando un árbol está muy grande y le quita las, las ¿cómo le llamamos a ese? Podar, podar las hojas. Rake the leaves. Okay. Take out the rubbish. Take out the rubbish. It's like you are cleaning, está limpiando y usted saca un montón de rubbish or trash and you take it out. Usted saca la basura. Take out the rubbish. Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. Cuando usted termina yes. de barrer, ¿qué es lo que hace? Sweep the floor. Trapear. Trapear. So you sweep the floor. Okay. Any other question? Good the grass. Cut the grass is that usted tiene en su patio, que es lo que tienen algunos patios? Grama. So you cut it. Cortar la grama. Okay, the next. The next one. Do the dishes, you mean? Yes. Do the dishes, lavar los platos. Okay, thank you. All right. So, if there's no more questions, we are going to move on 
And we are going to see some examples here. We are 18, somos 18 on the call. So everyone will participate. Todos van a participar. We are going to start with Jose Lopez. This one, please. I often to laundry on Saturday morning. What do you understand? ¿Qué entendemos por esa oración? Hago la lavandería los sábados en la mañana. Muy a menudo hago la lavandería los sábados por la mañana. Ok, very good. José Alberto, the next one. You show hand the cloth when the sun sh uh, sorry, shines. Shines, ok. Shines. Shines. Debemos colgar la ropa cuando el sol brilla. Right, let's move on. Carla, the first one. Iron the cloth. My mom loves iron, ironing the clothes. My mom loves ironing the clothes. Mi mamá le gusta planchar. So, Zulma, thank you. The next one. We are uh, the pronunciation. Tot. Um, tot. No, tot. Solo T O T. Tot. Tot. Mm -hmm. We are taught to make the bed after getting up. Okay. It says, somos enseñados a arreglar nuestra cama. O nos enseñan a arreglar nuestra cama después de levantarnos. After getting up. Okay. Okay, so let's see, let's move on. Uh, Griselda Angelica. Hello. Hello. Yes, Griselda, somos todo oídos. We're all ears. Lo que pasa es que no está fallando el internet. Mm, I'm sorry, what? Bye. Well, she is having a bad connection, probably. So, Rina Margarita, then. Go to... Rina. Go to bed like with half. Go to bed like with half band effects. Do you care? Okay, go to bed late will have bad effect on our health. Irse a la cama tarde tendrá malos efectos en nuestra salud, in our health. Now, let me see. Julia Yesenia, the next one. Wake up. I often wake up at six o'clock in the morning. Okay, I often wake up at six o'clock in the morning. Muy a menudo me levanto a las seis de la mañana. Seis en punto de la mañana. That's what it means. All right, let's move on. Let me see Saul Gutierrez. The doctors a bit of the right did twist a day. Okay, the doctor advised us to brush the teeth twice a day. El doctor nos aconseja cepillarnos los dientes dos veces al día, twice a day. Now, let's move on. Let me see Sofia Stephanie. My father sometimes tries to work instead, instead mm -hmm. of taking a bus. Yes, my father sometimes drives to work instead of taking a bus. Mi padre algunas veces conduce a trabajo en lugar de tomar un bus. So, Jocelyn Elizabeth. It's time to get home. It's time to get home. Very good. Let me see Jocelyn Stephanie. 
when exactly when did you last take a bath when exactly when did you last take a bath okay and the last ones uh venice marcela you are you there i think she's not there well let me see we're going to have uh, rosa melida Do not brush your hair with too much force. Do not brush your hair with too much force. No hay que uh, peinarse el cabello con mucha fuerza. Okay. Zulma, the next one, please. He surf. He surf. The net looking for ways to study. Okay, very good. And the last one, Carla, once again, please. One day while playing with my friend, I accidentally broke a window in a store near our home. Okay, one day while playing with my friends, I accidentally broke a window in a store near our house. Un día, mientras jugaba con mis amigos, accidentalmente quebré una ventana en una tienda cerca de nuestra casa. Okay, that's what it means. Now, is there any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Sí, sure. Yes. Repeat pronoun. Dientes. English. Teeth. 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 La TH de al final suena. Zeta. 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 Like that. Teeth. 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 That's the way we say it. Okay. Any other question that you might have at the moment? No? Okay. If there's no questions, let's go to the practice. So you know what to do, take a screenshot because today we are going to have a speaking activity, okay? Speaking activity. So take a screenshot of that and let me know when you're done so I can move to the next one. Are you done? Yes. Yes. Okay, let, let's move on. Let me see. Here we have another one. Okay, so I will stop sharing. Now, what are we going to do? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Son conversaciones, ok? So, we're going to take turns. Lo que vamos a hacer para que todos participen en la misma, una línea la lee uno, otra línea la lee otro, otra línea la lee otro, y otra línea la lee otro, ok? So, I need you to speak, to speak. Si usted no sabe cómo se pronuncia la palabra, dígala como usted piensa que se dice, y luego... Pregunte para ver si es cierto que así se dice. Are we clear? Clear. Okay. okay. So now let's go to the breakout rooms. Voy a estar viendo que todos participen, okay? So, I already sent you the invitations. Go ahead and join your rooms.
Okay, inicio yo con el primer línea. Okay. Okay. Clerk, San Esteban Hauter, how can we help you? Okay. Next. David, hello. Would like to know the price of a single room, please. Por favor, el tercero, la sería Clark. Sí. Sí. Do you sí. Per night? Ok, a mí toca. David. Is breakfast included? Included? Yes, breakfast in is included. Okay, they are one a single room for for four. Creo que sí se pronuncia. When would you like your reservation? To Saturday, May 14th. Tate will be a 120 pounds. Anders want name show. I make this reservation. Um, this whole reservation. Um, on behalf of David Miller. Okay, your reservation has been mold. You can pay open a rival. See you soon. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Entonces para nosotros dos. Monica, usted, Claire, yo, David. Yo soy Claire, y usted, David. Yes. Ok. Um, San Esteban Hotel, how can we help you? Hello. I would, I would like to know the price of single room, please. 30 pounds per night. Is breakfast included? Yes, breakfast is included. Okay. Then I want a single room for four night. We will you like your reservation? From Thursday, May, thanks to Saturday, May 14th. That will be 120 pounds. On the way, then I show I make the reservation. Um, behalf of David Miller. Okay, your restaurant, your reservation as being made you can buy happens as well see you soon thank you very much bye bye si quieres sabor yo soy Claire y usted David ok está bien ¿Ven mi pantalla? Ah, todavía no. Hoy oh, sí. Casi más fácil. No sé quién quiere empezar para que tengamos orden diferente. San Esteban Hotel, how can we help you? 
Hello, I would like to know the price of single room, please. Zero C pounds per night. It's breakfast included? Yes, breakfast is included. Okay, then I want a single room. Yes, for example, yes, breakfast. Repeat it again. Why? Que si repetimos otra vez. Yes. ¿Quién okay. empieza otra vez? Entonces, ahora, ahora vemos cuatro. Es que yo había visto que vemos cuatro. Ya no la escuché. Vanessa, no. Tampoco la escuché. Empiezo yo. Sí. <coughs> San Esteban Holler Home K. Hotel. 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 Hot, hotel. Home K. We help you. Sí. 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 Eh, yo ver, no recuerdo dónde tengo la, la primera casa. En el grupo está. Así que así la tengo. Dice. Pero no voy a hacer eso porque casi no veo. Eh, dice Claire. San y Seven Hotel. How can we help you? David, hello. I would like to know the price of single room, please. Thirty pounds per night. Is breakfast included? Yes, breakfast is included. Okay, okay, Tim, I want. Okay, now um, I was checking some of you guys, I was checking the pronunciation of some of you in general. In general, it's very good, very nice. Some of you have a really nice pronunciation. Some of you just have to work, tenemos que mejorar algunos, some details, but in general, it's a really nice pronunciation. But I want to, uh, I checked that some of you are having problems in the numbers, in los números. Escuché a alguien por ahí decir 120 something, 30 something. So, because you don't know how to pronounce the numbers. So, we're going to try the last thing that we're going to do before we go. La última cosa que vamos a hacer es just make the pronunciation of that. And we're going to start with Marvin Marroquin. I need you to help me with Clerk. 
No es necesario que digas el nombre. Just go ahead with the first line. Marvin, are you there? Hello, Marvin. Well, he's not there apparently. So, Saúl then. Saúl Gutiérrez. Go ahead, Saúl. No, Claire, just the first time he's here. Okay. So I'm still on how, how mm -hmm. can you, how can we have you? Okay, very good. Thank you. Let's see Jose Alberto, the next one. Hello, I would like to know the price of, of a single room, please. Okay, the price of a single room. Price. Good, Sulma, next one. Thirty pounds per nine. Mm -hmm. Thirty pounds per nine. Thank you. Ina Margarita. Is breakfast include, included? Breakfast included. Very good. Griselda Angelica. Breakfast is included. Okay, very good. Uh, Carla. Okay, then I want a single room for four nights. Very good. Rosa Melida. When will you like your reservation? Very good. Jose Lopez. Tuesday night, 10 to Saturday May 14. Very good. Let me see who else. Sophia Stephanie. Ya sabía que voy a poner eso. <laughs> that will be 120 pounds. Under what name shall uh, make this reservation? Very good. Jocelyn Elizabeth. On behalf of David Miller. On behalf of David Miller. Very good. Julia Yesenia. Okay, your reservation has been made. You can mm -hmm. pay upon arrival. See you soon. Okay, you can pay upon arrival. Okay, very good. Let me see. Uh, Saul Gutierrez once again. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. That's it. All right. So uh, I just want to say, guys, that you have some of you that you have a really nice pronunciation. Escucho que bastante de ustedes tienen una muy buena pronunciación. So keep on doing, ¿sí? Solo es de afinar algunos detallitos que no pronunciamos bien, pero en general todos están muy bien. So congratulations. Así que los felicito. Los insto a que sigan adelante. Try to work on the platform. Please, por favor, trabajen en la plataforma. Sí. Tenían hasta el día de ahora para poder terminar sección 1 y sección 2. Si usted no la terminó, déjemelo saber, hágamelo saber ahorita. So, I can take notes of that y se le va a dar tiempo extra. ¿Sí? ¿Alguien sí. terminó? Um aparte una parte porque yo no podía entrar a la plataforma. Ok, no problem. That's perfect. Pero bueno, ahora en la noche. Yeah, no, I mean, that's not a problem. Sí, tienes hasta el día lunes para poderla terminar. Lo importante es que al menos hayas terminado sección 1. Sí. Sección 1 la terminé hace como una hora. Ok, ok, that's fine then. Ok, so Zulma. Igual no he terminado la, la sección 1. Ok, so uh, you have until today, no, until tomorrow, hasta el día de mañana a las 12 máximo, 12 de la noche máximo, ok? Ok, thank you. All right, Chair, so, una consulta. 
Yes. Vamos a tener que comentar los The los videos. videos. You mean? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. That's not no. necessary. No, okay. that's not necessary. Mm -hmm. sure. El, no. Una consulta, este manual en este módulo no hay, ¿verdad? No, there's not. No. It's not. No, there's okay. this one. So uh, you just have to work on the platform y se va a estar revisando eh, cada semana el desempeño que ustedes van teniendo y dependiendo de eso se va a tomar en consideración para su certificación final. Ok. So that's why, es por esa la razón que les estoy diciendo que si no han terminado, háganmelo saber so we can work together. Si hay preguntas, dudas, cualquier cosa en el grupo de WhatsApp o si tiene miedo preguntar porque le da pena que los demás vean preguntando, escríbame directamente para poderle ayudar, ¿ok? Jocelyn. Oh, bueno, José. Entonces lo que toman en cuenta cuando nos revisan la plataforma es el progreso. The progress, for example, eh, hasta el día de ahora se suponía que al menos mínimo ustedes tienen que estar a la mitad de la sección 2. Si no es que ya ha terminado toda la sección 2. Ok. So, José López. I have a question. Go ahead. Can, can, I, can I start the next session? Do you mean section number 3? Sí. Yes. yes, you can start oh. in that. I mean, but that will... The number three and the number four? Yeah, you, you, can, you can do it. You can do it. If you have questions, you just let me know or you can text through the WhatsApp group and we can resolve any, any doubt or any comment. Uh, okay. okay, thanks. So if, that's, if there is no other question, that's going to be all for today, guys. Uh, we will see each other on Monday. No class tomorrow. Mañana no hay clases, ¿verdad? So see you on Monday. And I hope you have a nice weekend. See? Nice weekend and take care of yourselves. Okay? So have a good night. 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 Bye bye, guys. Bye.